Patrick, what do you do? You have anything to say about the public-private uh, type of arrangement? We're willing to give money from wherever we can, <laughs> um, and we've cobbled together money from so many different sources. Um, it's it's always been a, a scramble and a struggle. Um, we've never we've done I think we've done five what we call ZAP projects so far, and everyone was funded differently from every other. Um, and sometimes there's been years in between where we just couldn't get the money together. So you have to be patient. Um, one big project that we've done is um, Flamingo Arroyo Trail. Um, somebody came to my office one day and said, um, and we just, he just sat down, he, another county employee, and um, I had kind of a big speech I gave about uh, public art, and I started explaining it to him because he, um, said he really wasn't aware of the public art movement at all. And um, after we were done talking, he got up and left. And then, um, in a typical unsafe maneuver, he called me from his uh, cell phone while he was driving away. <laughs> and um, said, you know, we're, we're going to be building a trail uh, down Flamingo Wash, the Flamingo Arroyo Trail. I guess Flamingo Wash, trail really doesn't sound glorious enough. But um, he said, would that be a good place for, for public art? And I said, you bet. Um, so we, um, Flamingo Royal Trail is a trail that um, winds for 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 miles, depending on what day you ask. Um, nobody seems to be able to measure it accurately. but. Um, it was going to be a hiking, biking trail through the urban part of the valley. And um, it was funded by SNPLMA, as we call it, the Southern Nevada Public Lands, I don't know the rest of the initials to fill out, uh, the Public Lands Act. And um, they had quite a large grant to build the trail. Um, but we talked to my boss at the time, and um, she wrote a supplementary grant that would allow us, uh, for actually for $2.5 million, that would uh, allow us to put design amenities along the trail. We carefully avoided use of the word art. And um, so we sat down and tried to figure out how we were going to do this. And the first question was whether there were any artists in Las Vegas or Southern Nevada that we could hire to work on this project. And um, the quick answer was no. Um, <clears throat> there were no artists that had ever worked on a project like this that would involve um, meeting construction schedules, working with contractors, um, <clears throat> working with all kinds of complicated contracts, and building the kind of things that we wanted to build, including three um, pedestrian bridges. Um, so we ended up inviting a dozen artists from across the southwest and all the way up to Seattle um, to come and discuss the project. And we ended up hiring three. <coughs> um, one was Buster Simpson from Seattle, uh, one was uh, Kevin Barry from Phoenix, and the other was Barbara Greg Goodis from um, uh, from down in southern Arizona. Suddenly the name of the city isn't coming to me, but you all know it. Um, <clears throat> Barbara and Buster had done work all over the, the country. Uh, Kevin had done work in the Phoenix area um, only. He, he was much younger than the other two. None of them had ever met each other. Um, but everybody advised us, all the other artists kept asking us, you've got this long, long trail, and um, you're going to hire one artist to do the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> they advised us that that was a bad idea. So we took these three artists who were the, the finalists and asked if they'd like to work together. And um, 
they were more candid years later when I asked them how they felt about it. Um, <laughs> they, they said, well, you know, each of us wanted to work. Um, and if you were going to make us work together, then we, we agreed. <coughs> but they said they didn't know each other, and they had no idea whether this was going to work out. It, it worked out extremely well. Um, and my idea was that they would not build any art. Uh, there would not be any freestanding sculptures, there wouldn't be any murals, there wouldn't be any paintings. We were hiring them to build the regular furniture of the trail, which meant benches, uh, shade shelters, um, three pedestrian bridges, um, signage, directional signage, and uh, we were going to have uh, four trailheads, and we wanted them to design the layout of the trailheads, and they ultimately hired a landscape architect whom they worked with to select plants and so forth. Um, <clears throat> So this was the first big project that, that the county ever did along these lines. And um, we went to um, uh, our public works department and talked to the engineers there and said, okay, you're going to be working on this project with these three artists. And they said, no, we're not. Um, <clears throat> and they were very serious, uh, but we was too. And, um, <clears throat> we had to negotiate and negotiate and negotiate and negotiate. From the time we decided to do the project till the time it was finished, it took seven years. Um, and in the meantime, the, uh, the recession hit. And uh, although the artists designed three pedestrian bridges and worked with uh, engineers that we hired and that we paid much more than we paid the artists, uh, to make sure all the engineering was right on these bridges. Uh, the three bridges in the wake of the recession were never built. Uh, everything else was um, all the furniture in the trail was basically uh, weathering steel, uh, as you have on part of this building. It's a beautiful building, by the way. Um, and um, We've, we've had no objections to it whatsoever. But we went around, uh, my, the head of uh, our Parks and Recreation Department, Jane Pike, and I went around and met with each of the um, county commissioners as we uh, were approaching voting on this public art plan that, that we ultimately did get passed unanimously. Um, and uh, one commissioner really fiercely criticized these of the art on the, uh, the zap boxes that we had been doing for years, which um, I found interesting since that was the first person I've ever heard criticize those boxes. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, they were cheap. We've been doing a lot of them because they were cheap and easy to do. Um, and we didn't have any money to work with. Uh, but I told them that if the art fund passed, we would, this is not the sort of thing we'd be thinking about. We would be thinking about doing large projects. Uh, there's a photo over in the, the back of the room of a pedestrian bridge recently built by the city of Las Vegas uh, with an artist. And there's all kinds of uh, art designs three-dimensionally attached to the outside of the bridge. And I said, that's more the kind of thing we're thinking about doing. Um, and the commissioner said, well, now that I like. Um, I mean, he's talking about paying, he doesn't like paying an artist $2,250 to paint utility boxes, but he's willing to pay an artist hundreds of thousands of dollars to, to design a bridge. Um, but the reason is that he could defend the bridge to the, to the voters. He could defend having a way to get pedestrians across the street. And if you're going to have a way to get pedestrians across the street, you're going to want it to look good. And on that basis, he could defend it as a piece of art. Um, so that's a, I think that's an important lesson. <clears throat>